Good morning, you guys. My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can slash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Comes through Saja, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. Um, welcome in all the newbies. We're at 10,645. So thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just a bomb diggity.com. Yes, I am. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do, do, just saying. Um, I received a channel in, so I decided to do this reading. Hope everybody is doing well. I do. Okay, so I've been pulling a lot of Scorpionic energy in here, especially Scorpio masculine energy um, recently for some reason. Um, but I have been. Um, so this one is about a Scorpio masculine. So um, it, it could be you, Scorpio masculine. It's a lo um, low vibrational Scorpio masculine, or it could be somebody um, that you know, possibly. Um, how would that resonate? Okay, so I heard um, a um, very low vibrational, behind the scenes low vibrational um, Scorpio masculine um, has recently rose to stardom very quickly. However, it's about to um, be very short lived for him. Um, he's about to start having a lot, a lot, a lot of legal issues and very negative run-ins with um, the law. And for one of these Scorpio masculines, they are uh, being secretly investigated uh, by federal agents. And it's going to turn negatively for them. So you plug it in, how it resonates. There's at least two Scorpio masculines in the universe, I'm feeling. Um, Scorpio masculine energy strong. Now, you could be the sneaky link of this Scorpio masculine, possibly, that I pulled in yesterday. Um, Aries possibly, or you could be somebody else um, that's connected to the Scorpio masculine. I heard he's rose to stardom quickly. So he's in the public eye and he does something that rises himself to stardom, uh, whatever it is, um, whatever it is. For some, it is music. For some, it is public speaking. For some, a business owner. For some, it's music. For some, it's public speaking. For some, it's a business owner. Okay. So some of these Scorpio masculines, they're business owners. For some, they are public speakers. For some, they are musicians of some shape, form, or fashion. How that resonates. Um, but they're, they're, well, all those are definitely in the public eye. But they rose to stardom and fame and popularity very quickly. Um, so it happened quick. It didn't, like, I've had this channel almost two years. Um, it, mine didn't happen quick. Um, this one happened quick for this Scorpio masculine, but I heard it's basically about to start coming crashing down because there's something going on behind the scenes of these Scorpio masculines, whoever they are and how they plug into your life, whether it's a public speaker, a business owner, or a musician, how they plug in. But there's something very dark and secret going on behind the scenes um, is what it sounds like here. Um, I heard heavy legal issues coming for these Scorpio masculines and um, um, uh, one of them's um, secretly being, invest being investigated by federal agents, and I heard it's not going to turn out well for um, that one. So you plug in how it resonates. Um, wow, holy crap, of holy. Um, mm. An Aries is about to become very, very, very significant in these situations. Okay, I heard Aries is about to become very, very significant in these situations. And a Pisces. An Aries and a Pisces is about to become very significant in these situations. So with this Scorpio masculine, um, he's rose to stardom. He's rose to stardom, to fame, to popularity. Uh, he sounds like a very, um, um, it sounds like he wanted to. It sounds like he wanted to rise to st star, stardom, fame. He might be a celebrity. Um, one of them is a musician, so he might have blew up on social media is what I'm thinking. I think he blew up on social media with some kind of song or songs or playing some kind of instrument um, or both. 
but some kind of musician energy. I'm feeling social media energy. I didn't hear that, but I am feeling it. Um, because there's a reason he rose quickly, is what I'm saying. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but there's an Aries and a Pisces connected to um, Aries and Pisces. Either for some of these Scorpio masculines, it could be one person. For some, it could be two plus. But Aries and Pisces energy strong. Um, maybe the Air, um, Aries and the Pisces is going to get involved with law enforcement or federal agents and deliver the information on this Scorpio masculine because there's legal, heavy legal issues coming. And there are... Um, uh um federal agent energy coming so um you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates um the aries and the pisces could be on this side not wanting the federal agents and the uh, law enforcement involved or they could be the ones supplying the information to law enforcement and federal agents how that resonates but pisces and um aries energy strong here they, they could have, it could be masculine or feminine Pisces. They could have Pisces or Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hair, Jupiter charts. Um, however, that resonates um, in this Scorpio masculine's life. Hunger upright, number 29, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 29, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, um, um, number 29, hunger upright. There's secret, very heavy secret addictions here. Very, very heavy. And they're about to become very public very soon. One of these Scorpio masculines is a drug dealer of a city. Oh my God. Whoa. I heard there's very heavy addictions here. Very, very heavy addictions. And one of these Scorpio masculines is a drug dealer of a city. So you plug it in how it resonates. And I've been pulling in drug dealer of city energy strong too. So um, you have to plug it in how it resonates. Um, wow, that is so strong. So very, very heavy secret addictions. Now, yesterday, I feel that BDSM reading could possibly piggyback off this one. Um, because it was a Aries, well, it was a fire sign film with heavy Aries placement dealing with the Scorpio masculine. But it was a sneaky link not telling nobody energy but i think that scorpio masculine is in the bdsm or the aries is or both of them are but she's about to end up in the hospital um so and it's sexual related that's why i was thinking bdsm but um anyway so very heavy sexual addiction i mean very heavy addiction so it could be drugs there's a drug dealer in here it could be drugs now any kind of drugs there's many different drugs um but many some kind of drug addiction secret drug addiction could be shooting up meth behind, between the toes. It could be popping prescription pain pills. It, I mean, it could be a plethora of different drugs. Uh, prescription, abuse of prescription medication, or street drugs. How that resonates. And, um, uh, or it could be like sexual addictions or gambling. Um, addictions is anything that you do too much of. Um, gambling, sex, um, uh, Gambling, sex, drugs. I mean, you plug in how it resonates with some kind of secret addiction energy for sure. And um, what was the other one? Oh, a one of them's a drug dealer of a city. So um, we've got public speaker energy in here, um, uh, musician energy, and um, what was the other one? Public speaker, musician, and um, there was another one. So you plug it in how it resonates, but um, it sounds like it's about the background on the Scorpio masculine. Um, I think, I mean, the Pisces and the Aries really could be on either spectrum, but I think in some of these situations, the Pisces and the Aries is about to be the one to reveal the information to the police, is what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking, but you plug it in how it resonates. They got Pisces or Aries and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, Energy, or Charts. Um, right. Hunger is the addiction energy here. Um, 
I mean, they have secret, strong secret addictions, strong. Um, so it's the hunger of the Scorpio masculine. Even I think they love being, they hunger, they love being in the limelight. I think that they love probably making a lot of money, stardom, fame. Um, they probably get a lot of money from their view count um, if they do their music online um, or concerts or what have you. I'm sure they're probably making a lot of money because I heard they're rising. I mean, people love whatever work they're doing. But what people don't know is all the behind the scenes crap, or maybe they do know about the behind the scenes crap and they don't care because a lot of people like that. They can know behind about people's behind the scenes crap and they just don't care. So I don't know. But police are about to get, uh, law enforcement and federal agents are about to get involved. So, I mean, they, this Scorpio masculine is not, it's, it's serious. Um, so whether people like him or not, he's still a criminal. <laughs> just saying, just saying. So in this aspect, it's hunger of, um, for the Scorpio masculine, it's hunger of sex, possibly some kind of addictions. It's hunger of secret addictions. I can't say sex. It's hunger of secret addictions. It's hunger of fame. It's hunger of money. It's hunger of materialistic things. Hunger energy. Your message is your reflective. Trust. Number 32 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 32, possible age of viewers somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible um, green card number, number 32. This Pisces is about to... Reveal very important information on a very low vibrational Libra as well. For some, and for some, an Aquarius. Okay, so you're significant in here, Pisces. I've been pulling in a lot of Piscean energy, too. So, we got Aries and Pisces energy. They're about to reveal something, I think, to the police or federal agents, or they might be protecting the Scorpio last one. I feel they could be on either side. Um, in some of these situations, it could be 500 Pisces and 200 Aries in this situation. For some, it could be one and one. I mean, you have to plug in how it resonates. So if you are in this situation, Pisces and Aries, you have to plug yourself in whatever situation you're in. Are you protecting this Scorpio masculine? Are you revealing the information to the feds or police? I mean, I'm serious. Um, but a Pi one of the Pisces over here, um, masculine and Pisces, is going to reveal information on a very low, vib low vibrational Libra. Connected to the Scorpio masculine in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, so low vibrational, and for some, and for some, it's an Aquarius. So for some, they're revealing information on a low vibrational Libra connected to the Scorpio masculine. For some, a low vibrational Aquarius. So you plug it in however it resonates. Trust upright. This Pisces is about to trust in the process. They see things really getting out of hand, and they are. Okay, I heard this Pisces is about to trust in the process. They see things really getting out of hand, and they are. So something is getting out of hand with the Scorpio masculine, this low vibrational Libra, this low vibrational Aquarius. The situation, something's getting out of hand in some shape or fashion. It's not money that's getting out of hand. They're making lots of money, tons of money. But it's something else. I think it's the secret addictions. I think it's um, or so, some some kind of criminal behavior. I mean, it's something criminal. I'll tell you that. Um, one of them's a drug dealer of a city. I'll tell you that. Um, it's about to get law enforcement and um, feds in a ball. Feds are secretly investigating one of these Scorpio masculines already. So, uh, yeah, something's in, um, out of hand. 
Um, but this Pisces is very highly intuitive. I feel this is a high vibrational Pisces. This could be you or somebody you're connected to. I, um, you can be masculine or femme, high vibrational Pisces, whoever you are. But I heard that you see it getting out of hand. So you see this situation getting out of hand. Um, you have the gift of foresight, intuition. Um, and Pisceans, they are stereotypically known for foresight and intuition. Um, I mean, I'm not saying all Pisces are highly intuitive and have foresight. Because you can't group, just because you have Pisces in your chart, don't mean you are. But whoever you are, I feel you really are. You really do have the gift of foresight and intuition. Um, I love it. Um, I truly do have Pisces in my chart. And um, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, but you do. You truly are. I feel you're a high vibrational Pisces. Um, you have, the, I feel you have the gift of foresight and intuition. I heard you, you can foresee this getting out of hand. And I heard you're right. It's going to. Um, but I, maybe you're the one pulling these people in. And there's an Aries, over, uh, an Aries involved in this situation, too. Um, now, however this Aries plugs in, you plug it in your own life, how it resonates. Um, but you heard you're about to trust in the process, and um, you are about to basically do the right thing. So for you, Pisces, I think you might be the one communicating with feds, or the one communicating with police, or both. Um, because you know a lot about this situation. You know a lot, a lot, a lot about it. I'll tell you that. A lot about it. So I think you might be a baby mama, a wife, a committed partner, um, or a husband, a committed partner, a baby daddy, um, or a friend. Um, but you're somebody that knows, uh, connected to these people, that knows a hell of a lot about the situation. I'll tell you that. However you plug in. Now, there's an Aries in here, too, but um, you sound like you're the forefronter of about to release this information. You're very highly intuitive. You have a lot of foresight. Um, you're about to trust in the process. Um, I heard you do the right thing, so I think you're about to release information on these people because there's a low vibrational Aquarius, low vibrational Libra, and a um, Scorpio masculine musician, public speaker, or I um, forget the other one. Um popular, very, very, very popular Scorpio masculine, I might add, um, in this situation. So you plug it in, how it resonates. You're going to trust the process. This is going to cause the energy to, sh to shift in a huge way. Very smart decision, Pisces. Okay, I heard this is going to cause energy to shift in a huge way. Very smart decision, Pisces. So whoever you are, Pisces, I heard from the spiritual realm that basically it's a very smart decision. Um, I think revealing this information. You know a lot on these people. I mean a lot. I'll tell you that. Um, I feel you might have hung, grew up with them, hung around them, been a partner of one of these people, been friends of one of these people, one or two plus. But you know a lot, a lot, a hell of a lot about the situation. I heard it's very, it's going to be very smart on your end to do this. Um, so that's confirmation from the spiritual realm if you did not know this Pisces. Whoever you are, masculine or femme, high vibrational Pisces. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard it's going to shift the energy in a huge way. So I think you revealing this information and trusting in the process is about to um, shift the, the energy. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.